well, guitar players that I love are trying to find pieces, you know, of gear that really sort of get across what you're trying to say and express what you're trying to say in the moment. I love this, and I put that in that category of tools that I can lean on and and that inspire me to play and and I can be you know mid solo and and or not to just be playing and, and be having a really good time. Gear can be this like sort of this double-edged sword because it's easy to fall in, into this mentality where you're so focused on the gear that you you, th you know it's like you're always chasing this new piece of gear and sometimes it can be distracting from just actually, you know, playing your instrument. Um, that can be the case about 50% of the time, and the other 50% is you actually, you run across a piece of gear where all of a sudden you pick it up and there's just instantly this like X Factor, you know, lightning hits and you and you, you have this moment like, wow, this guitar with this amp, with this pedal, all, you know, makes sense and, and they're working together in harmony, you know. Um, so when you can find that, it is, it's totally inspiring. The things I seem to gravitate towards liking the most are the things that almost sort of take a life of their own and sort of take off. You just kind of have to start it and then it goes from there. The one thing that I really think is cool about the Winford, I've been around it in a couple prototype stages. I've been around other guys playing it, you know. Everybody plays differently on it and it sounds different. I'll play and go, oh, I want to sound like that and then I'll play it and then it sounds totally different, and it's really cool. 